when creating interfaces, it's very often that you'll do it in an anonymous fashion. Here, I have set up an interface called OnClickListener. This is something you've probably seen in various other UI toolkits. And this OnClickListener has an OnClick method that is called when a particular view is clicked. And so we have a class here called view. This could be such as like a button, a text view, an image view, some type of map or anything like that. And it has a listener that's going to be assigned to it. Now we're just gonna very simply here use the late init modifier to say at some point this will be called and set. And we're not doing any null checking here, so this is not production quality, but this illustrates the example. So anytime the view is clicked, it'll then instantiate the click listener and then whatever happens inside the click listener will happen. So that's the interface here on click listener with a on click method. So we have a few other classes that extend view such as button, image, and map. So let's assume we create a button here. If I wanted to set the click listener, I could set it to an instance of the click listener if I had implemented an instance of it in which I could do my own custom one like this class, my listener. And that would be on click listener and then be like this, and then perhaps I want to say print line and I say clicked. And I can do that very easily by just saying new listener. Excuse me, list, uh, my listener. And there we go. Now that click listener will work. And if I call button.click, the listener will now get invoked. So if we run this here, we should see clicked in the output window. There you go see clicked. Now this is not an anonymous implementation. This is a concrete implementation. So let's go ahead and get rid of this. This is not what we want here. There's a way we can do it directly in line here. And so what we're going to do is we use this word called object. We're basically creating a, an object right here in place. And we'll say click listener and then open and close brackets. And then you'll see object is highlighted and you hit alt enter for Mac and implement the members and it'll just allow you to implement that member which is on click and then we can just do print line here and say this was clicked and of course now if we run this what will happen is this basically created an inline object here a we've done an inline object which is an, an implementation of the on click listener directly in line and it was called here and directly set up accordingly so that's how you can create a new instance of that. Now, sometimes you'll also see methods perhaps that allow you to set listeners. So just say set my listener, let's just call it that. And this is going to have a, a click listener and, and this click listener is going to be this dot click listener equals click listener. And so it basically says this one is gonna be set equal to this one up here. And so that's another way you could do that there too. So inside of here, we could say button dot set click listener, which is a method now. And so I could actually just cut and paste this out of here. And the same thing, I'm gonna use an object. So object colon, the name of the interface, open and close brackets and then implement the required methods in the, in the middle. So the abstract methods in this case on click and an instance of on click listener will be anonymously created and set into this value here. So when cl the click button is called, it will then say this was clicked. And just to show some differences here, we'll say this was clicked ABC. If we run this again, when it gets to button.click, we'll see this was clicked ABC. Now the same thing, um, happens here for the the map and the image so you could then either very easily and say map so val map equals map and you say map dot click listener equals and you could do the object thing here again as well and say on click listener and then open and close brackets and there you go and then you can do something inside of there and then of course if the map was clicked now what this allows you to do is have the very common interface, the contract of when a view is clicked, it'll just invoke a function and then you get to decide what to do when a map was clicked or what to do when this but particular button is clicked. And so this is a very common pattern you'll have seen inside of various UI platforms. So that's how you can create an anonymous interface implementation in Kotlin.